Oh, I'm gonna be putting my stock rims on since this damage will be fixed and I'm taking it to Ford. We should be good to go. Just getting pulled over because my white supposedly white lights are actually a tint of blue but the warm white it looks like a, a dark yellow so I don't really like the looks of it so if I get pulled over I'll just tell the cops that I can turn them off and I've already done that before so but going to get the tires done I need to take them off because I'm definitely not risking these rims that are on the car right now don't want them to get messed up and have to deal with that so every time anytime I have body work done I always make sure to take off and put my stock rims back on just in case but that's today's task but just to give you a little bit more info I'm actually going to drop it off at Ford because they I mean I've had problems in the past with just other body shops and I think Ford's just gonna be the best option th this time. I'm hoping that Ford will take care of my car. They have in the past two other incidents to where, uh, I mean not incidents, but I've taken it in for work done from them and they've done a really excellent job. But this time they're gonna work on my front bumper and the lower lip that's on there. They're gonna repaint all that, get it all fixed up. I gotta replace my windshield and the right rear is going to get worked on as well um and i think i should be good to go there shouldn't be any more imperfections on the car i just want to get this car back to where it needs to be show quality and be done with it and then hopefully i can get me a new truck soon and get a trailer and i won't have to drive the car long distances i can just drive it in the cities or wherever i need to go which will be awesome for me um definitely don't like driving it all the way to Georgia whenever I do travel so if I could whenever I do go to shows in Florida and Georgia I love love to get it to where I could just trailer the car there and stop putting so many miles on it now because I'm already at 65,000 miles and it really hurts me but hey the car is meant to be driven I understand that but I don't know I just like the low mileage on this car I don't want to put too much stress on the motor until I turbo it which we have no idea when that'll be. Green 37, he just turboed his car again, and now he's just pushing 1,000 horsepower. If y'all haven't seen him, I'll drop a link in the below of his Instagram name. That car is gonna be a sick build to watch race. And he's a good guy too, so y'all make sure to go give him a follow. see all this is damaged this is just I put another screw in there just to hold it on I'm gonna take this off because they're gonna order a whole new one since of all the big damage there's no point in fixing it they said so they're just gonna order a new one take this off and they're gonna fix the bumper and then they're gonna fix the right side 
as well and then i'll get my windshield replaced because of this crack that just keeps getting worse and worse and i'll get new decals hopefully i can get the, the new version of the kind of ratchet and we should be good got my stock rims drivens i might just put my drivens on honestly because they don't stick out like my other ones do that are on the car right now and they have better tread pattern and they're used so it's probably what i'm gonna do because you can never go wrong with the continental tires that's for sure but i got stock exhaust stock everything from that's on from the mustang stock rims 19s came on the car dude it's like really hot in here i don't know why see if my fat butt with these flat tires can ride this thing barely holy crap it's hard to ride oh yeah no oh. whoops I don't know if any of y'all have road bikes, but if y'all do, they're fun. I've always had them. This is my second one. Oh, it's so hard to ride with flat tires. They're fun, keeps you active, but I'm waiting to start riding again once I do take this thing out, but I just haven't felt like riding it lately. Screw it. I'm just going to put these on and say the heck with it. Yeah, buddy. I have honestly been thinking to sell these rims since I have three sets of rims, three sets of tires, and a couple extra tires just because I don't use them anymore. But the plan with these rims is I was going to actually take them off and put them and get something made for a table and stuff. The goal is to not have these damaged. So. So re another reason why we're taking them off and I don't have a lift like a lot of other people but whatever you gotta work with what you got to have what you want so but this is in the storage building too so that's why we got us a little jack stand I always take that on the road just in case I ever do have problems I always have this handy as well Got some meat on this thing. 285's on a 10 and a half. Extreme contact sport from Continental. That's what I always run. Well, this is interesting. So, I haven't had my Drivens on in months. And I forgot that whenever I first got them, I got five millimeter spacer for the front because it's so close to the strut that it will hit the strut if, if I bounce up and down on the bumps. So I need a five millimeter spacer to push it out a little bit more so they'll fit correctly. Well, after about six months of that, I got inch and a half spacers and then pushed them out so far and I just forgot that now that I need them to put them on so I can take them to Ford because I'm just gonna put these on instead just so it can still look good. <laughs> but these tires are better too, so it'll be good for it. But, so I forgot the five millimeter spacer. So I had to call my mom. She had to go in the attic. <laughs> and now she's bringing them to me because I can't go nowhere. And we live 30 minutes away and she was coming into town anyways. So, but yeah, now I gotta wait and I guess fiddle around the storage building. I wish some of them were open. And I could just go through like they do on storage wars. But these people over here, they got so much crap. Mom just brought these in. We're good to go. Be able to get this on the roll and get out of here. I cannot believe I used to have this kind of fitment, y'all. <laughs> What in the actual heck? Oh, Jesus. But this is still flush 285s on the rear.
Hell yeah, just got Taco Bell. Been craving Taco Bell. It's about to be good.